Hey guys, what's up? It's Moz here and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to live stream to YouTube or YouTube gaming, as what a lot of people call it these days. I've already made a video that's pretty similar to this video on how to do this but onto Twitch TV instead of YouTube, so if you're interested in watching that video, I'll have an annotation on the screen if you're on PC or a link in the description below if you're on mobile. But anyways, before I get started, I just wanted to say be sure to hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're already, because I am on my way to 18,000 subscribers and I'll help is appreciated. But without further ado, let's get on with the video. So something that I noticed was that when you search up something along the lines of how to stream on Twitch TV, my video is in the top three search results which is pretty cool. So due to that, I thought it would be smart to show you guys how to stream to YouTube because a lot of content creators have been making the switch from Twitch TV to YouTube as the stream quality is much higher and they don't want their subscribers to have to use two different services to watch their content. So of course the first two biggest requirements you'll need to meet to be able to live stream is having a good computer and a really solid internet connection. A good laptop will be fine too, but I highly recommend having a desktop over a laptop, but if you have a good laptop then you'll definitely be fine. Also, trust me, even though I wish this was the other way around, a MacBook does not qualify as a good streaming or gaming laptop. So I've got my PC specs on the screen right now, and your PC doesn't have to be amazing. I built my computer for almost $800 last year, and it works fine for live streaming and gaming. You just want to make sure that's not a super old computer, so as long as you bought the gaming PC or something along those lines within the past few years, then it probably qualifies to be a good streaming PC. So the second thing that you'll definitely want to have is a good internet connection and if you aren't aware of what your internet connection is already then go ahead and head over to speedtest.net and then you should get redirected to a page that I'm currently at. And once you're here all you have to do is just click on the begin test button and it's going to select the best server based on your ping and from there it's just going to test your ping connection, your download speed, and your upload speed. So my test just finished and once your test does finish don't close out of this tab because we're going to refer back to it in a couple of minutes but essentially what you want to make sure is that your upload speed is at least more than two as you can see from my screen i do have a 4.3 upload speed so i mean if you do have 1.5 or something like that then you'll be fine but you really want to make sure that you have two minimum and anything above that is going to be fantastic so from here go ahead and open up the other link in the description and it'll take you to the obs project website and once you're here go ahead and download whichever version of obs studio works with your operating system so i already have the windows 10 version downloaded the reason i actually love this software is because it allows you to live stream your content or just record it locally i've also made a tutorial on how to record your screen or games locally so i'll leave that in the description below too if you guys do want to check that out and i'll also have an annotation on the screen for those of you guys who aren't on mobile so essentially once you've downloaded the studio version and set it up then you should have a screen similar to the one that i'm currently at if you still haven't downloaded the software go ahead and pause the video and then come back to the video once you do have it downloaded and are on the screen anyways from here what you want to do is just go ahead and click on the settings button and from here we're actually just going to set up the quality of your stream and all that good stuff so obviously right here you can pick your language i'll keep english but there's a ton of options you can also pick your theme so i actually like dark because i don't know it just looks better for me and from here you want to click on stream and you we're actually going to come back to this in a couple of minutes but from here go ahead and click on output and this is where you're actually going to set up your quality so what i like to do is just set my audio bit rate at 128 leave the encoder at software x264 and for bit rate this is where you want to open up your uh, browser and go to the speed test website all right guys so i just opened up my browser again and as you can see i do have a 4.3 megabyte speed or megabit speed so what i'm going to do is just change my video bit rate to 3200 or anything that's basically less than 4 thousand so for example say you had a two megabyte speed or megabit speed you could just change yours to 1500 or maybe even 2000 would be good for your video but what you want to do is not make it all the way to the same as your upload speed if you do have something lower than 100 because then your internet is definitely going to lag more than it normally does but if you keep it at a solid a median like 3200 then you should be fine so for me 3200 is fine but basically adjust it to whatever speed you have if you have something that's like 50 for your upload speed or something then you'll be fine at just keeping this at like 8000 or 10,000 but 3200 is the sweet spot for me from here I'm just gonna go ahead and click on apply and right here are some recording settings if you do want to change anything like that if you're doing something locally but in our case since we're just streaming this is all we have to modify and uh, once you change all that good stuff up go ahead and click on the simple button right here and then click on advanced and from here what you want to do is change this from very fast to somewhere in the middle kind of like faster or fast basically if you have like a lower end computer you want to keep it in the ultra fast super fast very fast range but if you have a way a super nice computer then you can move it from medium to like very slow and slow and placebo or something like that but uh i'm just gonna keep mine at like faster because that will be fine for me and from there you should be good to go oh and one more thing if you do want to stream in something other than what your display currently is then all you have to do is click on the rescale output button and then you can basically change it to wherever you want but i'm fine with streaming in 1080p because i know that i can handle it so i'm just gonna uncheck that and leave it at 1080p click on apply and then we're set to go from there all right guys so now what we want to do is just go to stream and this is where you can actually set up your streaming service so what we want to do is click on youtube or youtube gaming you 
you can leave this at the primary YouTube server. And now we want to find our stream key. So I'm going to teach you guys how to find your stream key. I'm going to blur mine out, but definitely just go to the same place that I go to and just copy and paste what I'm going to be doing. And one thing that you want to make sure is that you never show anyone what your stream key is because if they find out what it is, that means that they're actually able to live stream off of your YouTube account. So from here, once you go to live streaming, I'm just going to quickly make my screen bigger. And from here, once you scroll down, you'll be able to see your stream name or key. So all you have to do is just click on reveal. And it also says that anyone with this key can live stream to your YouTube channel. So you want to keep it a secret. So I'm just going to quickly copy it. And once you do have it copied, um, you can also reset it in case someone does ever get it. But once you have it copied, go back to OBS and just go ahead and paste it. And from there, you can go ahead and click on apply. If you click on the video tab, you're also able to see what your current resolution is and your output resolution. But this is mainly just for recording purposes only. And you can also change your streaming to 60 FPS if you do want to do that, which I do. So I'm just going to click on apply. And uh, once you've done all that, all you have to do is click on OK. And now you want to add a source. So for my source, I'm just going to add my actual monitor capture or display capture. And I'm just going to click on OK. And as you can see, now I'll be streaming what's ever on my screen screen i'm gonna click on okay right there and uh, that's really all i want to stream you can also just like kind of zoom in and out if you want to but uh, theoretically you could add like gameplay and stuff like that maybe even a webcam or anything you want all you have to do is just click on the plus button if you want to add a webcam you can click video capture device if you have a game capture like an elgato you can do the same thing and basically you can just mess around with the sources until you have something you like and once you're good from there all you have to do is just click on the start streaming button so i'm just gonna quickly set up my stream so it goes private and none of my subscribers actually see what i'm doing what you want to do is actually make sure this stays on public so it'll be back when I am done with that. All right, guys, so as you can see, I basically made mine private so none of my subscribers will actually see this pop up in their sub box in a couple of minutes. And I just added a title and a description. So this is what you would want to do if you're actually properly streaming to your subscribers. And from there, all you have to just do is click on start streaming on OBS and it'll start connecting to your YouTube service. And from there, you're gonna start streaming. So in a couple of minutes, this is just gonna change and it's gonna go online and you'll be able to see what's on my screen right now. As you can see, it does say starting, stream health is all green, which means it's good. And we're receiving my content. So my audience will be able to see it in a moment. And uh, there you go guys so now i'm actually streaming on youtube gaming i do have it private right now so that's why none of my view uh watching is going up but i'm pretty sure what if it didn't have it on private but as you can see it shows how many minutes i've been streaming so almost a minute it says live stream health is all green which means good everything is good quality and we're basically set to go right now all right guys so i basically just ended my stream i guess my viewers were going up and i didn't notice but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the video be sure to hit that like button and share this video with your friends and go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're on the ready because I am on my way to 18,000 subscribers and I hope it's appreciated. It's crazy how fast my channel is growing. I'll probably hit 20k in like next month. Maybe even at the end of this month. I don't know. But that's pretty unlikely. Most likely next month. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Be sure to leave any comments below if you do have any. But yeah, that's really it. See you guys next time. Peace.